Hello everyone, welcome to CyberScoop TV. Greg Otto, your managing editor here. We're coming to you from the Andrew Mellon Auditorium for Cyber Talks, and I'm talking with Admiral Kevin Lundy, the commander of Coast Guard Cyber Command. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Greg. So, in 2017, it's been another banner year for breaches, whether we're talking the private sector or the public sector. What can we do in 2018 to make sure that it's not a repeat of 2017? Well, I think part of the focus needs to be moving toward a culture of prevention, not just preparing for response, but really focusing on the preventive side. One of the most important things we can do, in addition to putting in the, you know, following the cybersecurity standards and putting in the controls, is to really get at culture. How do we get individuals to think about themselves as part of that cybersecurity defensive system, so that they're thinking and making decisions, knowing that what they do is either going to be the strongest or the weakest link to that defense for their company or their agency. So that prevention gets to my next question. We've seen a lot with breaches that organizations are often reactive in their approach. How do we get to organizations being proactive in their cybersecurity posture? So I think first it's about instilling that culture so that people understand the risk and what the, and in terms of what they're doing and the risk it presents to the mission or the business of the company. Uh, and then it's being prepared, having the right instant response plan in place doing drills and exercises, so if we do have an intrusion, how are we going to respond to that? Who gets notified? How do we move quickly and coordinate? Uh, so it's the preparedness part. And then how do we operate if we do have an event or incident that degrades our network or our access to information? How do we still do the mission uh, in that degraded environment? And so being prepared and, pre and training and preparing for those, those outcomes it gives us better resilience. So there's a human element to this in that we are dealing with the cybersecurity workforce shortage. How do we get more people into cybersecurity so we can deal with that problem? Now, Greg, I'm, I'm glad you raised that people, not technology, are the most important part of cyberspace and, and cybersecurity. Um, one of the ways we can get people into it is by, is by first encouraging uh, STEM education at the very junior levels um, and, and then really encouraging people to enter the technical fields, but then bringing people that are non-technical into cybersecurity as well, uh, because that's essential, that, that diversity of thought and understanding and critical thinking across disciplines is important. Uh, but we've got to start young, and we've got to get people interested and excited in the mission, not only the mission of whether it's government agency for the Coast Guard, it's saving lives and protecting the, uh, the nation and ensuring the safety of commerce and security of commerce, but also that what we do in cyberspace and cybersecurity part of that is essential to our ability to conduct those missions and the other physical domains. So finally, a lot of what we deal with tends to be negative. What is something positive that you're seeing in the cybersecurity world that hasn't had its just due? Well, you talked about people in the workforce and I'll tell you I'm excited about the future because we do have people, young people, that are interested in getting into this field. Uh, I was just up at the Coast Guard Academy where uh, we send people through the Coast Guard Academy and their commission is ensigns. We have a, a cyber academy, uh, a cyber team up there that is a competitive team like the other service academies, although we're much smaller. Uh, but these are electrical engineers, most of them, and they are competing and they are excited about graduating and entering cyberspace operations in the Coast Guard. And I'm excited to have them. Uh, this year we took the first two graduates that rather than going to a, a cutter or going to a shore operations, they came right into cyber operations. So I, these people, young people are energized, they're excited, um, and they are really smart, very Great. talented. Admiral, appreciate your insight. Thanks for talking with us. Great, today. thank you very much. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube channel, and for more on cybersecurity, check out cyberscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto, thanks for watching.